alert for you tonight. A relatively new tool to catch car thieves is exploding in popularity. We're talking about these cameras that read license plates. Yeah, police have been using them, but now businesses and neighborhoods are also installing them as we battle porch pirates, carjackers and other issues. News Force Russell Kinsall is live at five from the Fenton area where a car break in where car break ins rather have stopped since those new cameras came online. Russell. That is right. I'm at the entrance to the Winding Bluffs subdivision right off of Highway 141. They've installed two cameras. Look right behind me. One is at the top of that pole behind me, but you'll notice halfway down there is a sign warning thieves. If they drive in here, they will be recorded. So these cameras have been so helpful and so popular that they're popping up, especially at places where people live and shop. Here's video of a thief stealing a package in the Winding Bluff subdivision on Monday. You order something, you pay money for it, and then you get home and it's supposed to be there and it's not. <laughs> she was caught on Les Howard's Nest camera and on a camera that reads license plates made by a company called Flock Safety. That photo was turned over to police. The subdivision had two cameras installed to tackle a nagging crime problem. Prior to that, we were just like any other subdivision in the in the metro St. Louis area. We we're getting hit with what police call car clotters, people breaking into cars. Area police have used motion activated flock cameras for several years to help spot stolen cars. Holly Balin is a company spokesperson. Software within the camera then compares that license plate to different state and national crime databases. If the plate that's red is on a car reported stolen or associated with someone that's wanted by police or an Amber Alert, police are notified. I checked with St. Louis City and County Police Departments, which said they don't have any of their own, but they can tap into a network of 250 cameras in the area. Well, flock cameras have been very helpful for us. The city of Eureka has installed nine cameras, and even if a car hasn't been reported stolen, investigators can use the images from those cameras to solve crimes. We're able to review flock cameras within the city within that time frame, uh, and we can actually just put in, we're looking for a Dodge Durango. Uh, and it'll pull up the Durangos that are, are SUV type vehicles. The Legends subdivision in Eureka also has installed them. You'll find flock cameras at the Gravoy Bluffs shopping area and many other places. So think about hospitals, hotels, chambers of commerce, all organizations and entities that are very interested in improving the safety of their community, of their customers, of their employees. The Winding Bluff subdivision has not had a car break in since the cameras went up. If they don't come in, then I think that's money well spent. We may not be catching them, but they're also not coming in and, and terrorizing us. So the company said the next step for their flock cameras is an add-on feature that detects gunshots, then automatically starts recording in hopes of catching video of the suspects speeding away. Live in Jefferson County, Russell Kinsall, News 4. Russell, thank